Oh, hello there. Sorry I didn't hear you come in. I'm Greg Davis, the voice of the Gavlin Rams, and I'd like to welcome you today to my own little place in the world, the Sports Vault. This is where they keep me until game days. So I'd like to start with something a little unprecedented on this network and the Gav TV family. We've been going local, but now we're going national. Excited? Our producers say yes, but the polls say no. This just in, the San Francisco Giants have been eliminated from postseason competition. Granted, this happened roughly a month ago, but I've been in here for a while and nobody told me. On a more serious note, congratulations to both the Chicago White Sox and the Houston Astros for advancing to the World Series. This will be the 101st World Series contest played, and you can check out Game 1 this Saturday night on Fox. The official news and views prediction, Chicago in 6. We have hockey. After season's hiatus, the players and owners figured it out, and we have hockey. Yes. Unfortunately, the Sharks, who started the season with a loss, have gone just 3-2 and two since opening night. They got romped last night in Minnesota against the Wild and looked a bit more like Goldfish, losing 6-1. to one. They're just 500 this season, coming one year after they won the Pacific Division title. Somebody down there needs to light a fire under those boys. They play the Columbus BJs tomorrow night. And fans of the beloved Scarlet and Gold Warriors, San Francisco 49ers, have reason to rejoice once again. No, we've still only won one game, but we got rid of the bacteria that was Tim Rattay. Now we'll need to find somebody else to blame all those losses on. Here's what it is from Gavilan. There have been a multitude of problems for our women's soccer program this year, and they continue to cast a shadow on this season. The girls, who won once since the 01 campaign, currently have only enough names on the roster to compete with seven. The recent departure of two quality players puts an unnecessary strain on Coach Marty Beeler and her hardworking footballers. The girls have been forced to forfeit their last three competitions because of a lack of players, and that was just after they scored their first goal this season back on October 7th. If there was a bright spot in this story, it's that the girls still on the team practice and play with an intense ferocity matched by none in the league. A plea from the athletics department. If you're a woman watching this broadcast, come play soccer. And volleyball. The team has gone winless since its home opener back in September, but they continue to play hard and work towards more victories. Coach Stephanie Pascucci has gotten her first year club into form and they will be tested tomorrow night, the 21st, at home against Deloney College. Good luck to the ladies. And now, for an in-depth portion of our show, it's the game of the week. Last Saturday night, after a bye week, the Fighting Gavilan Football Rams took the field, that's San Benito's field in Hollister, for an extremely exciting and entertaining conference opener against visiting De Anza College. De Anza's record mirrored that of the Rams, one and four, and the Rams had the home crowd and a whole week of rest to get prepared for the game. Remember, this is conference play and every game counts. Uh, Frank A. Boy, could you roll that tape please for me? Virus under center. When uh, it comes up, it's Ferguson going to be Rams motion. red, Dons and white. There's a fumble the game, on the snap. second possession, and the snap is fumbled deep in Ram territory. Dianza would recover with magnificent field position and promptly run the ball in for a score. That set up this play, one that would be most crucial later in the contest. A Don point after try is partially blocked at the line and falls short. That makes it 6 nothing De Anza early. On the next round possession, that's quarterback Matt Virus dropping back to pass. And he will let loose an ill-advised pass that's picked at the 40-yard line by uh, the De Anza defense. Yeah, there he is. A strong Gavilan defense would hold De Anza, but the next time they got the ball back, well, there's Virus under center again, and he apparently didn't want the ball back. Puts it up for grabs again, and it's picked off back at the 20 yard line. Ouch. Dons drove to the Ram 25, but that's as far as they would get. And this is the play that stopped him. That's big number 91 on the defense, who knocks the ball loose, and the Rams would recover at their own 20 yard line. Big defensive play for Gavilan. A few plays later, after Gavlin couldn't go anywhere, the punt unit is called in, but fire, fire! The ball snapped over the punter, and he makes a heads-up play to throw it out of the end zone just as he's hit. Safety for De Anza, and it's 8-0 Dons. 
on the ensuing drive, DeAnza quarterback Garfield drops back to pass. He looks deep and he bombs it to number 16. That's Ed Vixaw on the outside and he's in for the touchdown, making Gav's deficit 15. It would be the last points Gav's D gives up all game. Later from the two, there's Garrett Burgess, who steamrolls his way into the end zone. That cut the lead 15-7 with 25 seconds left to play in the half. Ensuing kickoff, however, disaster strikes. And he's wearing number four. Yep, there he is. And pretty much you're going to need a Ferrari to catch that kid. 90 yards to the house. DeAnza lead 22-7 at halftime. Coming out of the locker room and down 15, the longhorn sheep of the Pacheco Valley heed their sacred bull's horn and head set the tone for the rest of the game. There's quarterback Garfield back to pass, and he throws an interception to number 24, Xavier Zabalos, who takes it across midfield. A few plays later, there's quarterback Matt Virus again. He's back to pass, and he lets one loose over the middle. This one, beautiful diving catch brought in by Shane Butcher. Virus from the gun, next play, he fakes the screen underneath and he goes long, unloads to Butcher near the end zone, and it's a 50-50 ball. This one would be ruled, however, an interception for DeAnza, and the ball is placed at the one yard line. The Rams defense sacked up on the next play and bowls over the Dons into their own end zone for a safety. That brings the score up to 22 to nine Dons. Irish Virus' third interception, Coach John Lango uh, figures he's seen enough from the sophomore and puts in quarterback Matt Leal, who throws this naked tight end screen to the left side. It's Nick Fortino, and the big man rumbles forward for 30 yards. That sets up what uh, would later be a first and goal from the one yard line. And there's big number 71, defensive lineman lined up as a fullback. And Leal under center, the give is to him, and he powers his way forward into the end zone. It's a big touchdown for a big boy. That play reminiscent of the 85 Super Bowl when Ditka and the Bears gave it to William the Refrigerator Perry for a touchdown play. It's great coaching by Lango. PAT is good, and it's 22-15. Ten and a half to play in the game, and actually there's only two and a half to play in the game, and that would be the score that sealed the deal for Gavlin. Miss, mentioned the missed PAT earlier. After Gavlin's made PAT, they go up 23-22 for their first lead of the game. This one's not over yet though, and a low snap, Garfield able to scramble away, and he unloads it over the middle. That play is complete for a first down. The Don's bench is going wild over there. Sensing some blood in the water on the very next play from the Don's, and quarterback Garfield wants it all. Deep play, but it's broken up by number 41 of the defense, and it, that brings up a second down and 10. From the 43-yard line, it is completed over the middle. Whoop. It's not enough to move the sticks, however, which brings up third down and two. And there's Garfield out of the shotgun, but he cannot handle the snap. And blitzing Ram, that's Bradley Niles, number 44, makes him pay for it. Loss of nine yards on the play. A false start makes it fourth and 15, and this play for the game. Pressure from the outside, and it's deflected. That, that would seal the deal for the Rams, and they win their first conference game of the season. But he cannot handle the snap. And blitzing Ram, that's Bradley Niles, number 44, makes him pay for it. Loss of nine yards on the play. A false start makes it fourth and 15, and this play for the game. Pressure from the outside, and it's deflected. That, that would seal the deal for the Rams, and they win their first conference game of the season. Wow, what a game that was. Uh, well, looks like we're running out of time here. But before we go, we'd like to remind you that men's and women's basketball are both taking off soon. The men playing November 7th, the women opening up at home on the 10th. And the South County Bees baseball team will be in action at 2 in Gilroy this afternoon against Merced. Good luck to all the Gavilan teams and their affiliates. I'm Greg Davis. Thanks for watching. We'll go back to the studio. Jan, take it away.